Good morning. So this is going to be my husband's birthday weekend vlog. So it is Saturday the 20th and we are heading to Austin today. But before we go, he wanted to go ahead and open up his gifts. So that's where I open up the vlog with. It is, what time is it? Not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet. <laughs> this man don't get up early for nothing. <laughs> but he's so excited about his gifts, right? Yes. Okay, let's start with the little bag. Okay. That was the what? The little bag. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Ooh. With green? It's green. It's green? Oh. Yeah. This, is the, this is one of the sweaters I had saved. Mm -hmm. This thing looks so dope. The sweater's so freaking cool. I don't know if I can see it. Thank you, baby. It's like the claw machine. Ooh, what's this? Protect the ocean. So his birthday is on Earth Day, so I thought it'd be <laughs> funny to get him. But there's a theme. See, the color green is on the stuff. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thank it's you, baby. Shirt. It's yeah. different. It is different. We usually, you like a lot of anime type of shirts. Yeah. Ooh, okay. What's this? Hold on. Oh, that's live. I like that. That's live right there. Is this blue? Yeah, it's navy. So, both of these last two shirts are navy. Oh. And they both have, like, the same shade of green on there. Okay, okay, cool. See? That's the thing. Like, green is, like, my favorite color. Like this shade of green, like this, that's a nice shade of green right there. I like that. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Do you like it? Yeah. I like you don't cry. I was like, he's either going to bust out laughing or he's going to cry if I give him this, this gift. <laughs> I love you want to cry. Oh, babe. It's a G.I. Joe. Right? Something simple. I'm not even like a huge like G.I. Joe fan. But when I was a kid, I was. G.I. Joe was like they were cool. Like really cool. I told my wife a story about when I was a child. It was near my birthday. And we were out shopping at Walmart. Uh, my mom was throwing a whole bunch of toys into the cart. You know, like G.I. Joe's, like Beyblades, like all the popular 90s kids stuff, you know. And, you know, me, I'm excited. One of the, It was one of the happier moments that I can remember. But... My younger sister, she was with us and she became upset that she wasn't getting anything. And my mother explained to her the reason why I'm getting all these toys is because it's my birthday. Now, she was young, you know, so she didn't really understand. So she was still upset. So my mother's reaction to that was to take all the toys out the basket and put them back. And then we left Walmart. And I remember that to this day. I really appreciate this right here. Like I, I honestly and truly do, babe. Thank you. Mm. I love you, baby. I love you too. Okay, there's one more gift in here. here. Oh, it's a card. I always, I'm not one of the people like, get the card. I'll be forgetting. First off, it's a card. That's nice. Sorry, I want no money in here. It can stuff. This looks really nice. I'm not gonna lie. This, this the outside, the little uh, diamond design. That's okay. I'm nervous at this point. I'm not so scared. What? It's a white boss. Oh my god. <laughs> you got me a tea sock. 
This goes so hard, bro. This goes so hard. Look at this. This is so nice. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm like trying to be a watch guy. And this is a really nice watch. And it has a green face. And you literally picked the perfect watch. But it goes with the theme. Right, the green theme. Wow. Okay, so those are his gifts. No swine. There's a ginormous bag over There's here. There's another bag over here. Is it heavy? It is. Good God Almighty. You got me the North Face backpack? Mm-hmm. Why are you getting all the cool stuff? <laughs> Bro, what? This is a dope freaking backpack. And it's First off, it's massive. It's like the big as my chest. But I got it this big for like a reason. I wanted it to be multifunctional. Because we have another baby on the way. <laughs> so I wanted to be able to stuff all her stuff in there and then still have enough room for all four of our other children. And then maybe us and stuff like that. Snacks, change of clothes, whatever the case may be. Thank you, babe. Oh, shit. This is a nice box. Ooh. Just open it. <laughs> These are so freaking dope. Y'all look, okay, you're gonna look at this. You'll be like, man, what is that? These are replacement covers for my PS5. And I had showed these to my wife. So yeah, those are PS5 covers. Oh, you got the thingy. And she got the little matte black sticker that goes on there. Damn, you got the sticker too? I was not expecting this. These are, first off, these are super high quality. I like it. It's like a smoked up gray. Ooh, Nike by you. You know what that mean? No. Did you did you make these? Yes. I don't want you to see this part because it has a picture of them. I'm scared. Oh, these go hard. Not with the green. Look on back. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> these are nice. Yeah, I know you were talking about getting the shit with like blue in it instead. Yeah. But I wanted to keep the green thing going. You know, I like this. These are nice. It's like a cream. It's like a cream color. Yeah, because he's getting like more cream colored stuff too now. No, I have been. He did a great job. So I know that these Nikes run like a little bit more narrow, so he probably won't wear them a whole lot. We'll probably see y'all whenever we're actually headed. Ouch. And happy early birthday to my honey bun. Thank you, babe. So we are on our we're on our way out of town now. We're leaving, not gonna lie, we're leaving almost we're leaving almost two hours after I wanted to get there and where the time is uh, there's a particular spot I want us to go for lunch and we might not be able to make it there. Not gonna lie. We just uh one thing I didn't necessarily account for was that my husband was going to want to open his gifts before oh. we left. Yeah. We're going to get there at 2. The place closes at 3. And I'm just... I'm one of those people I don't like getting anywhere within an hour of closing time. I'm just really weird about that. But we'll just play by ear, see what time we get there and, and uh, you know, maybe if it's not too busy or something and if my husband wants to you know eat there still then we can go ahead if not it's austin there's like a billion restaurants right he's just always down for like trying new things even though this is not a new cuisine necessarily it's it's a little you know different from what we usually indulge in so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna attempt to do my makeup in the car i was gonna drive but my husband said that he'll drive so anyways, let me go so he can do what he's gonna do. We're here at the restaurant. It's called Kome. Let me show you how it looks. So cute. <laughs> Octopus. I scale. Spicy tan tan ramen with the honey bun. Amazing. See, I mean, so we are back in the car. 
going to this little dessert place before we go to our next destination. They are closing soon. They're gonna be open for like another 30 minutes, but it's more so like, are y'all gonna have anything? It's like kind of funky over here a little bit. Is it on the side? It's on over here. Okay, so we're like in this. Dystopian. Yeah, it's almost like a ghost kitchen type of place. It's kind of weird. So there's like tons of restaurants on the kiosk that you can order for, order from. They like they have like the orders and the lockers. That's crazy. I didn't even notice that. Well, there's a guy. He came up. I think he like scanned his phone, and then one of them popped open, and he grabbed his food. And this is way too futuristic. So it's just like an entrance, a little front desk there for no reason. TV to show you like where your order is, and then you order on these kiosks over here. Look, it's a robot. <laughs> okay, so we are finally out of that weird place. Bro, oh, I'm just terrified. Yeah, it's it's crazy right here. <laughs> it is scary over here. Look, we're I, I've said it before. We're from small towns, okay? So all this Austin crazy driving, y'all need to change. There is nowhere on earth you gotta be that fast. We're literally like running late to our next destination. Do you think we're gonna kill ourselves trying to get there? No! <laughs> if we're late, we're late. If we miss it, we just miss it. I mean, it's, it's what it is. So we got, well, I got this little strawberry cake. Yes, I never had the chance to soak my nails off, okay? My honey bun got these Nutella, like Nutella banana. Banana nut muffins. Banana nut muffins. It looked really good, so we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this for him so he can eat before we get there. Cause we are on a bit of a time crunch, but like I said, we're not trying to rush to get there. We're just driving. We'll see y'all when we get there. <laughs> We are here in Wonder Spaces. Wait, where? Oh, right there, yeah. this big old fat piece of purple tape <laughs> right on here because huh? you see all these like little names and stuff okay this thing is like really freaky and I'm already pregnant of my husband. <laughs> is it cool? It is uh, something. Oh. Everything the light touches is 
centrifugy. We are. <laughs> just got to the hotel and uh what the heck it looks so nice down here this is a freaking holiday inn babe did you see this view okay it's wildlife preservation reservation or preserve preserve wildlife preserve it's really nice in here it is. I, I'm kind of they have a pool too yeah. Alrighty, so we are in the room now. So let me give you a quick room tour. This is the front door. This is me. <laughs> this is a mirror, mirrored closet door. So here's the closet. This is the bathrooms. Very cute. A full actual tub in here. Every time we get a room, there's no tub. And when there is a tub, we don't know. And we don't bring any bad stuff. Sink, coffee maker, fridge, um, a little microwave. A oh, random bag up here. What's in here? Just below the sink. Little dining room table. We have a couch. I'm assuming it's a pull-out couch as well. A little coffee table, bed, <laughs> TV dressers, a little bench, a desk, and then a little seat nook over here. And then here's the outside. We're on the second floor. So my hubby actually got this room for free because if you've been watching us since we've been living in the Portland, Corpus Christi area, then you'll know that we have, we're basically living in hotels for like three months. Um, so he racked up a lot of points because we tried to stay with like the same family of hotels. So he had enough to get a free night. So we got this hotel and, um, and then they actually upgraded it for free. So that was really good. Also, Initially, we weren't going to get this hotel because we wanted to stay more like within Austin and not so far like on the outside. But I noticed that this address said um, 620. And I'm like, 620? Isn't that where the movie theaters are? Because the first couple years when me and my husband were together, when we went to watch a movie, we would only come to this specific movie theater out here on 620. That was like the only one literally so if we want to watch a movie we'd come all the way out here to watch the movie just because it was the closest one to us that fit our vibe like we're both like chunky people so they had really comfortable seats plus good food and where we're at there's just no theater around us like that so we kind of got used to only going to that movie theater even though it's been a while so because now we we've toned it down we yeah we go <laughs> We go to regular theaters now. I, we were just, we were spoiled for a little bit. I was treating my husband to the high life, you know what I'm saying? She put me off. Yeah, I had to wine and dine him, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, so when I seen 620, I was like, I'm pretty sure it, that's in on the same street as a, as a movie theater. And sure enough, we're in the same plaza like this hotel is part of a plaza there's like really nice restaurants over here i don't know how nice the restaurants are but they look nice this area is like you know not super duper busy like you know downtown austin so you know it's cute over here for sure i've talked my husband into seeing a movie i'm gonna show him this movie trailer just to make sure it's something that he wants to watch but he's just like yeah whatever you want to do babe whatever you want to do 
I'm like, it's your birthday weekend. But all the things he wants to do, we're going to do tomorrow. Because it's been raining today. It's been storming today, as a matter of fact. Okay? So we were going to go back over to the domain, the Punchbowl Social. But I went ahead and canceled that reservation because it's far. It would have been another 30-minute drive going back. So we're just going to kill two birds, one stone because he wants to go to the domain anyways. Because I'm sure he's going to want to. I know why he wants to go over there. Fragrance. What? Go ahead. What? That? First off, that's a bold place. Bold place? That, look, you you <laughs> no. already stuttering because you off, lying. First off, <laughs> that is a bold face truth. Because yeah. I want to smell some fragrances. Yes, I already and, know. And maybe get one. Yeah, so, you know, I'm just trying to treat him to a nice weekend because he takes care of me and the kids all year long and you know sometimes i feel like the men kind of get overlooked when it comes to like gifts and stuff and he probably will get overlooked for father's day because that's kind of like tradition so <laughs> i'm just trying to make sure i'm just kidding by the way but father's day mother's day that stuff is more for the kids you know what i mean like literally it's called father's day not husband's day we're just chilling both of us need to poop so we're just trying to wait it out to see who's going to poop first. Who's going to go first. I guess I'm going to try. But I feel like I, I, feel, I feel bad. You go dookie because I don't want to go dookie and then you have to come behind me and, and smell it and stuff. That's horrible. I mean, that's our life though, babe. No. I'd rather smell your dookie. So you go dookie. It's your birthday weekend. That's my gift to you. Is you not <laughs> smell my poop. I'll smell your poop. Girl, I'm, I'm we usually don't poop around the same time. That's not like an issue that we have. He's more regular than me. So he has more set times of the day he's going to go poop. And then I'm just a random pooper. I poop randomly. I'm going to show him the trailer for this movie. See if he's for sure interested in watching it. And then I'll book the tickets. Then we gotta decide if we're gonna eat eat before the movie or during the movie. Mm. I'm sure before for him, cause the movie's not till 10 and it's like seven right now. Yeah. Okay. So we'll update y'all when something changes. My outfit, for instance. <laughs> I probably will not change my outfit. I'm pretty comfortable. So we are in the movie theater and it's just me and my honey i picked the wrong seats as usual that is my cross to bear is not ever being able to pick good movie seats so i don't remember you getting this you got it for me you got it for me at the same time you got that other little double ring in corpus and corpus okay, yeah. okay so this is us i'm only filming in here because the movie's not on so there's no like copyright or nothing but this is my honey. We're sitting, first of all, my feet can't reach the ground. We're sitting like right here. So the guy said that once the movie starts, um, we can move. So we're gonna move like right over there. As long as people aren't in those seats. Nobody's gonna be in the seats. <laughs> he literally told us that yeah. we're the only ones that are gonna be in this theater for this movie. Yeah, he said we're the only ones. And it's so funny. It's so funny how God works, first of all, because originally I had wanted, I wanted to do a drive-in movie tonight for my husband. I thought it'd be really romantic, but um, there's like a rain policy, and so it's storming outside. So I knew that if I booked the tickets, they would cancel it, because um, if it's raining so hard, they can't run their equipment outside, and it's like coming down. Not only... Is it leaking in here? Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Okay, let me hurry up. So, not only that, the only thing that they had available around this time, you would have had to, like, do a private, do a private uh, rental, which was, I think, like $175. So, it would have cost us, because the movie that I was going to get, they took it off for some reason. And every other movie was like, he would not have enjoyed it. So they had a thing where you could pick your own movie, but you basically had to like rent the entire space. And that would have been like 175. And I'm like, it would be nice to rent the whole thing just for my honey bun, but that's really expensive. And then there's no guarantee they're gonna have a movie you like. So it's like, I'm not even gonna worry about it. Right, yeah. 
But now we're here and we have the whole theater to ourselves and we get good food and whatever we want to drink and we don't have to worry about getting rained out. Just being here cozy by ourselves. Just enjoying each other's company, you know what I'm saying? The way God yep. intended it, you know? Right. So I, I obviously, I definitely want to do a drive-in movie in the future for sure. Yeah. The previews are now. We will see you when the food comes out. Got a real slap jacks right here. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Are they good? Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. I'm so sorry if I'm just looking extra crazy this morning. It is what it is. My lips have been extra dry. We were on the way down here yesterday, and I was like, oh, you're really dry, girl. And I peeled a piece of my skin off right here. I keep telling myself I'm not gonna do that, but it's just hard when you're walking around and literally your entire lip is just dried out, bro. Not used to this. It's been it's been doing this for probably like two months now. So I'm just praying that after I have the baby, they'll go back to normal. Cause I don't even know what that could be like a sign of. I've never experienced nothing like that. And it's not like a cold sore or nothing. My lips are just drying out and peeling over and over and over again. So we just had breakfast downstairs. And as you can see, I have this bagel and I was gonna eat this downstairs. I didn't really get to eat. I had half of my English muffin, half of a sausage link, and then like a bite of eggs. So there were a lot of kids downstairs. Each, you know, family had brought their little tots and young children understandable I'm, I'm i'm the queen of of having a whole bunch of kids so i get it they were all screaming each family's kids were screaming and this is i promise you this is not me judging because i know kids are gonna be kids so screaming and crying that's fine okay they were like walking around us coughing now i have an issue because <laughs> where is your baby mask at no i'm just kidding but my husband had went to go get me some uh, a bagel to eat and a little girl walked past our table she wasn't near me but she was close enough choking you know and i pray that they're okay first of all in jesus name amen but secondly let's take this food up to the room because i feel like she just coughed all over your chair so i'm literally just sitting down here like this because i am nine months pregnant okay <laughs> And if I get sick, that's on me because I chose to come outside. You know what I'm saying? That's not me blaming the little kids. I'm not going to try to guilt trip parents or, oh, your kids are doing this, this, that. I'm just going to remove myself from the situation. That's simple. That way I don't have to hurt her feelings, make her feel any type of way, or compromise my safety. I'm just going to leave. So that's what we did. We came into the room. So my husband's in the bathroom right now taking his morning poop. And then he's going to shower and then I'm going to go in there and wash up. I took a bath. Oh, I haven't even seen y'all since we were in the movie theater. I tried to record our food, but it was so dark in the theater. I couldn't uh, get any footage of the food. We had a cute little dessert. Everything was so good. I tore my food up, tore my food up. So I really have to like take it easy today because I had a burger and fries and I ate basically the whole burger and most of the fries. Like, girl, come on now. Am I driving y'all crazy just holding this bagel and not taking a bite? So I'll probably see y'all whenever I'm getting ready for the day. Okay, so this is outfit number one. I'm just trying on. Probably not gonna wear this today. So there's this. I feel like this would be a lot cuter if I wasn't pregnant. So yeah, that's this one. Show you the next outfit. Okay, so this is the second outfit. The shirt, I think, is a little too, like, formal. Because technically, it's like this off-the-shoulder situation. But... You look you look amazing to me. I'm sorry. I'm, like, so big right here. It's crazy. Yeah, that baby is growing. She's a growing baby. She's going to be here any day now. Look at my honey bun with his sweater. My birthday sweater. Let's get back some. Oh. I don't want to have to back, and yeah. back it up on you now. You can't see his face, but you can see this Hi guys. fine, manly body. All right, put the camera on. 
<laughs> What's going on? So, uh, just here to show off my fit while my wife finishes up uh, getting ready for today. So, as you can see, side of the top, go to the bottom. And this is what I'm looking like, you know. Some, some light, you know. All this stuff is birthday stuff for the most part. Besides these pants, I've been had these, you know, got this hat from Target, you know. And everything has a little bit of green off in it because, for one, that's my favorite color. And secondly, my birthday is on Earth Day. So my birthday is tomorrow. So we're just out here getting ready to do some festivities for today, you know. Got me in my hat. has a globe on it, you know. My watch. It's a T-Sot watch. Courtesy of my wife. has a sunburst dial. That emerald green. I think it's emerald. This sweater is very, very nice. Very nice indeed. And I got my Nike here. My, my baby gifted me yesterday with the gum bottoms and the green swoosh. That's how I'm coming today. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Okay, so real quick before we go, I got my hair out. You can't really see my outfit. Hold on. Makeup. I left my lip stuff in the car. Earrings. Got on my brown body suit. It's cold, so I gotta wear this jean jacket. Um, some cargo pants that will not stay, not wrinkled. And I got on my little Target slippers. I really need a pedicure. If I could find somewhere to drop my husband off, I'm probably going to get my nails soaked off in a petty. But probably not. Okay, but we gotta go. Alrighty, so we are now in the car and we are headed to the domain for my honey bun's birthday. That's the one thing he he actually wants to do while we're down here. So we're gonna go over there. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go over there, look around a little bit, maybe do a little bit of shopping. I'm not trying to spend too much money. Yeah, we're not. I'm we're not. not, he is. I'm not. But um yeah. yeah. Just get out the house a little bit. It is cold outside, but it's a really beautiful day. So I'm praying that the sun keeps us warm enough to where this wind is not going to drive me insane. So that's all we have going on. This is my makeup. makeup it's all right. Makeup out. We're on our way to the domain now. We really need to wash the car. And I feel like there's probably going to be a car wash somewhere along the right side of this road. And if it quick. is, we can just pull over and wash the car real quick. Because we're getting there so early, like, they're not even going to be open by the time we get there. That's true. So, we do have, like, some time to kill. If we stop at the car wash, I'll show you that. If not, we will see you when we get to the domain. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> to like this little uh like the car washes they have at the store which we wanted to go to like an actual dedicated car wash but we're gonna find one so we just pulled over okay this is called energizer <laughs> energizer energizer bunny so you're gonna do an unboxing for us? Yes. Okay. So this is a 100 mil, 3.4 uh, fluid ounces. I'm gonna do an unboxing because I'm going to commit because I have committed. It's over. So, okay, that's magnetized. And so then you open it up. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, look at that placard right in there. Okay, we're at Plank Seafood House. We just got our appetizer, Brussels sprouts. Move this out of the way. We have never had Brussels sprouts before. So I'm kind of nervous. And then well, shrimp toast. So I had some as a kid and I was... They were never my favorite at all. Yeah. But these smell and look really good, and I'm excited to try them. So, that. Okay, let's try them together. Okay, ready? ready. Three, two, one. They're interesting. Yeah. My Chinese. They're not terrible. They're not my favorite thing. 
not eating this whole thing. But they're not disgusting. But you liked it. In um, Port Port for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. Mm. It's good. You like it. Okay, so my honey bun just got me boba, and he got a smoothie, and we got a Japanese cheesecake. Now we're in a store called Dezo. <clears throat> it's cool, it's like in its point. Folding slippers. Thought it was gonna be a lot like cuter stuff in here. <laughs> what the heck? Finger sack. Yeah, for two dollars. Thank you. Not bad. Please don't, babe. Please don't. I'm begging you. Tape. All little stamps. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like. They have pom pom pure and white lids. Key holder, cinema roll. Oh my gosh, look at this little chair. Interior chair, what is it for? Look how little it is, and they have little easels. Look at this little swing set. What is it for? I wanna get a little hamster. Alrighty, we are back in the car. Hopefully all of our things are still back there. Such as my tablets and his fragrance and all my other things. So I have my bobas. Sorry if the air is loud, but it's hot outside. It's gotten hot. We got two composition notebooks. So we got a red one for Alex and a purple one for Ivory. Anyways, I got some hair scissors. Okay, because I'm always complaining that I need them. And then what we came here for is Japanese cheesecake. And my honey bun picked out this flavor. Oreo cheesecake. I might take it off the thing so I can get a better yeah. view of it. Okay, yeah. actually I'm gonna stop recording so I can like take pictures. And this is what it looks like. Ooh. So we're gonna try this. Okay. And let me know how y'all like my hair being out. Two, one. <laughs> mm, 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 it's so bad. It's some different cheesecake. It is very different. It's really, really fluffy, which I can appreciate. So they have this, and then they have something called Ooh. Bang. But it starts with a B. Batsu. Something like that. Bent. No. No. But either way. Bentsu. That doesn't have like any flour in it. It's like super duper creamy. It's like too creamy. For me. The Japanese cheesecake is more almost more cake like. So for my birthday. 
I only had one real request. Well, I had two kind of. My first request was I wanted something green. And my wife came through with that. I got everything green. My second request, because like that's 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 why you got all the green stuff? Mm-mm. Oh. So you forgot I said that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it has worked out that way. Yeah, his birthday is Earth Day. And I know that he's really into the color green right now. I am. So I was like, oh, this is going to work out great. But yeah. Then my second request was I want a cheesecake for my birthday. I didn't say from where. I didn't say what kind. Mm-hmm. I just want a cheesecake. And the initial place we were going to go to, we ran out of time before they closed. So we came here and said, and I will say that this delivers on my request for cheesecake. This is different. Yeah, it's Japanese cheesecake. Like, for me, I feel like it's a very... I don't know if it tastes better than the other place we're going to go, but I feel like this was a better experience because he's getting, like, a whole entire cheesecake. I'm a whole... And it's a Japanese cheesecake. Like, it's something we've never tried before. Right. Anyways, okay, yeah, so we're going to head out, and we will see y'all, Lord willingly, when we make it back to Temple. Skra. birthday boy on his birthday for his birthday it's the birthday boy on his birthday Yay. Yay. okay all right i'm gonna let the kids all righty is a surprise three two one open oh. <laughs> happy birthday yeah, they made you a little picnic. Zara! <laughs> <laughs> this looks so delicious. Okay, we're back. My daughter braided up my hair. But it is still my honey bun's birthday. And so for dinner, he chose. The kids are eating chicken skewers. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got like a short rib noodle something something situation. This is my first time ever having Thai food. So I'm really not even sure what I got. And my husband got like a three meat curry or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, chicken, beef, and I think it's shrimp as well. So this is what he wanted for dinner. So try something new to keep the vibes going. Mm. And the kids are trying it with us this time. So yeah, and we're finna watch a movie, Cowboys and Aliens. Yay. Wow.